guys, welcome back. This is Hannah again. Um, I hope you guys are continuing to do really well. Um, I posted maybe a week or so ago a pile of recyclables, right? Because we're all kind of amassing um, all these recyclables right now while we're spending so much time safe at home. So I said to start holding on to those because we're gonna um, talk about how to make some cool stuff with some of the things that we're collecting um, from our groceries first and foremost. So um, for this project, we're gonna make this really rad, really cute little house, a little paper house. And we're making it out of a cereal box. <laughs> um, if your house is anything like mine right now, we're kind of eating quite a bit of cereal. So um, it's really simple and this is really great material. You know, it's like this nice stiff paper that we can actually make quite a few things out of. So when you're done with your cereal, right? Um, take out the bag from inside um, and then you're gonna open up both the top and the bottom gently. And then there's a seam down one side of your cereal box. So you're gonna wanna gently, using just your fingers, pry that open. Don't pull too hard. You'll feel like there's some glue right there that you can just continue to pull apart. If it rips a little bit, don't worry. We're gonna to try to keep it as intact as much as possible. And then look at that. That's a lot of material that we can use, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you'll see on one side, doesn't matter if it's the top or the bottom, I want you to cut this part off, the tabs down here, okay? And then there's this template available on our website so you can look that up, you can download it from the website. And that's gonna give you all the measurements and the layout for all these different portions of the house, okay? So you're gonna print that out. You're gonna need a ruler, definitely a ruler. And you're gonna need scissors and um, a Sharpie for sure. Um, and kids, if you need help with your scissors, find an adult to help you with this, okay? So you're gonna take that template and then you're gonna um, use that to measure out on your cereal box. I used a really thick Sharpie so that you can see it in this video. Um, so here's how it's gonna measure out. And I just chose dimensions that work with different sizes of cereal boxes. Sometimes we get smaller boxes and sometimes we have those giant family size boxes. So this is a template that's scaled to work for a variety of cereal boxes. If you have a larger box, you can scale this up to make a bigger house, okay? Remember, you're gonna to wanna to draw all your measurements out on the side with the printing, right? Because you want this to stay clean so that you can decorate your house. So when you're measuring out and making all your marks, do it on the side that has the label printed, okay? So from here, you can use just scissors to cut these shapes out. It'll look something like this. Okay, it's like a magical cooking show, right? So here's the next phase. So I cut out all the pieces on my template and I'm gonna to talk to you about how to score this cardboard so that it bends more easily. All I'm gonna use is a ruler. It can be um, a 12 inch ruler. This is just one I have in my studio. And you're gonna use like a ballpoint pen. Any ballpoint pen will totally work, okay? So to make sure I can score that, I'm gonna put my ruler against one of my lines that I need to fold. And I'm just gonna push a couple times and go over and over and over that line. So it gives it like an indention so that this will be easier to fold, okay? And at this point, this is when you wanna decorate your house. You could put windows in it. These are your roof pieces, so you can decorate those. I just drew like little roof shingle looking lines on mine. You can certainly do much more on yours. You can draw a front door, all your windows, maybe curtains. You can even have flowers or garden growing or ivy growing on your house. So while it's nice and flat like this, this is when you wanna decorate. Also, with adult help, this is the time if you want to cut windows out or a door out, okay? This is when you get an adult and a grown up to help you do that. I did use an X-Acto knife, okay? But certainly to do this door, you just need scissors and then you're gonna score it right there 
so that it opens more easily, okay? But I think that if you just draw windows and doors, that it's equally as lovely, all right? So once you have all your decoration done, that's when you're gonna fold this together. You can see how this is gonna happen, and then these part pieces come in to look like that. To keep those together, just use tape. Just use tape. I have some masking tape right here. If you have scotch tape at home, that'll work too. Anything, you just need little pieces, just little pieces of tape, like here. I'm gonna put one here, like that. And then when I fold this in, they'll stick together, just like this. No need for glue, really, no need to glue it all together. And then you'll do the same, you'll put tabs of tape along the roof line here to hold this together. Um, also, if you wanna make more than one of these, before you assemble this, use it as a template to trace onto another cereal box. So you don't have to do all the measuring all over again. Smart, right? So then you can create a whole village of these sweet little houses. Um, again, you can scale them smaller too so that you can create different types of houses. Um, but yeah, you can make a whole little village to play with, okay? Um, have fun, keep inventing, keep making, and I'll see you back here soon. Thanks guys.